Welcome, YouTube duelists. It is I, Aiden, bringing you another budget meta video. Now today, I will be starting a new series called What to Get, or something like that. It should be in the title or description, or it's a work in progress. First, let's just um, oh, shit. let's just go up here and see what new shit's coming out. Let's see the World Championship 2018 Support Challenge. Now, I was watching DK's, you know, stream or whatever, which is Duel Link's meta, and he'd never talked about Dark Magician Girl. First off, I don't think it's going to be relevant. Dark Magician decks are, like, so gray meta, and what I mean by gray meta is only people that are gold rank or lower will use them in their deck on the ladder. So, that's only gray meta. You get a 3,000 gems and 2,000 gems if you are just starting today, which is pretty good. And this is really what I want to talk about is the login ticket bonus stuff. Basically, for the next eight days, you'll get one ticket a day, probably around 12 or 1 uh, central time, whatever. Whenever you you get your gold and your daily rewards and shit, that's when you get that. And basically, uh, what I would use to get is... Um, it allows you to use it to get one free UR from a box. And everyone's in agreement where it is Primal Burst and below. Basically, uh, Primal Burst don't have any good cards that are URs, so I wouldn't recommend getting it. But if you need like a, I don't know, say you're running some kind of meme deck or something like that and you really really want a forbidden dress or something like that you can go ahead and pick it up which as you can tell I have not even gotten this box really I buy all the main boxes mainly for the you know just to get a complete set of all the rare cards and stuff but I would not recommend getting anything from a mini box because it's only 80 cards and come on you can get a red eye slash pretty easy I mean, it don't take a genius and, you know, it's not that hard. Uh, I would go ahead and suggest any new player get Cosmic Cyclone. I don't even have a single one yet. That's what I'm going to probably get. It's a tie between either my first uh, Cosmic Cyclone or... I might go ahead and get something from like Generation X, like a Floodgate, because I've only got one Floodgate. And Floodgate is a card that might show up in the meta pretty soon, and you can use it in just about any meme deck. Hell, I might even go ahead and get my third horse, uh, level 8, or my third card guard, or my second King of Swamp. I mean, that right there will be really, really helpful, especially if Twin Burst comes back or comes to the game. But I'll probably end up getting either Floodgate, King of Swamp, or Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, I thought really hardly and really wanted to get a Red Eyes, Wyvern, Dragon. Because, you know, zombies are still relevant in the meta. I think they're tier 2 at best, but, you know, it's still pretty good cards. I mean, hell, you can even get Dark Paladin. The Buster Blader, Destroyer, Swordsman, and whatever it's called. Uh, I wouldn't go for the Gozuki, mainly because he might come back in the selection box that's coming out next week. Uh, I'd advise any player that's already got all the main cards to go ahead and save your gems for it, because spellbooks ain't that good. But if you don't have something that you need from Valiant Souls, like Gyrgya or... Now, something from Abyss Counters or something, go ahead and spend your gems on that because I'm a firm believer in you should spend your gems on what you need, not what you might get in the future. Save all your gems for two weeks, get wrecked in the PvP because you ain't got a good deck or anything. You're still using a 30 card Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. Don't save your gems for something that you may or may not get. I mean, I, I was watching this one streamer on Twitch, uh, I think it was either Yummy Bakura or Brittany Lee, and she was only using aliens, and everyone talked to her into spending all of her gems on the Vision of Eyes for spell books, and she ended up spending like 
30 or 40 bucks too on top of that and only got two blue boys and uh, I think a spell book of life and a spell book of secrets or something. She don't have a complete set of spell books and which was completely ridiculous for her to spend her money on it. I mean hell I'm free to play and I've got one mage power which is irrelevant. One spell book, one blizzard's princess, two trickies because I was lucky enough to pull my first tricky within the first 10 packs and a mage power and I got my treach. No, no, I didn't get my treach in the first pack. It's whenever I reset it, I got the treach within that first 10 packs too. And thought about resetting again, but you only need one treach. And the tricky, I was really, really wanting to build that hazy deck that was on my channel the last video, I guess. Unless I've uploaded a, uh, you know, dual link song parody between them. Because I've got quite a few saved up. Um, Another good option would be a spear Karibo or spear Ebola, whatever you want to call it. That would be another good option. That card has been meta relevant ever since it first dropped. You can also get a Sonic Bird or a Sinji would be a good idea too. Uh, I wouldn't go for Magic Jammer or Fusion Gate or anything like that. And the only other card I would say to go ahead and get would be... Uh, I wouldn't get Mirror Wall because Wall D is so much better and so much cheaper in my opinion. But you could make a meme deck like a busted infinite wall deck like that one Guns Blazing had. Where hell he had like fucking three or four uh, Golden Ladybugs or something. Half Shut would be a good good card to get but that's only if you've got everything else that I've listed. Same goes with Mirror Wall. Uh, send you like I said w would be a good card cyber angels are still relevant uh, And the uh, only other one I would recommend getting is some URs from The Valkyries rage because this is a pretty good box. I've already went through it one time Or somewhat went through it one time and I think I reset at like a hundred after I got all the good cards like fiend mega Cy cyber which that is not meta relevant but Divine Wrath is a good choice. Soul Exchange is a good choice. But if I'm not mistaken, I think Divine Wrath was in the uh the selection box or whatever. So yeah, that that's what I think that you should get with your UR ticket. Just remember one thing. Don't get what everyone says is good or what everyone says that you must have or something like that because they don't know what cards you already have. Like if someone says go ahead and get Anki or whatever and you don't have a D Hero Struck deck 3 of, don't get Anki. Don't go for fucking Mass Heroes if you don't have D Heroes. The only reason why I have not got the D Hero Structure deck is mainly because of that reason right there. I wouldn't get Magic Drain or Seven Tools of the Bandit. There's just so many good, better cards than that. I mean how Ultimate Providence is better. But I think that's going to about do it. If they actually let us have only the first nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that would really suck. And I'd say go ahead and get Soul Exchange, Mirror Wall, the Sanju Sonic Bird, or fucking Spear Karibo. Do not buy anything from a mini box. They're way too easy to get. Don't fall in that trap. This has been Aiden TV. Like if you like, comment down below what you plan on getting with your free UR box ticket. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace.